like Heather from Hooked on Picking here. I have another bulk.com box that I'm going to go through and share with you the contents. The reason why I'm okay with sharing you with you these contents is because it's very unlikely you're going to find the exact same items as I get. And I want you to enjoy the fun mystery that is bulk.com. So, they um, packaged this one so that I am never allowed to get in it. Good grief. All right. So, once I get in it, I'll be able to show you what's in here. But our last one we did pretty good when I finally got done listing everything. Now, I've had to adjust a few of the prices even since I've listed it about a week ago. But the last one, I think when I finally got done listing it, the profit was going to be around 2000 And with adjustments and lowering of prices and things like that, I think we're going to be more around... Uh, $1,000, but I only spent about $300 on the last one I did. The last one I did was uninspected returns. Um, this one is considered like new when I went on there. They've got three different categories, brand new, like new, and uninspected returns. Now the uninspected returns was okay because I had a few items that were still in package that matched things that were already open. So I knew exactly what they were, but had those other items not been there, I'm not sure I would have been able to look them up because I wouldn't be sure what exactly they were. So this one, is, I spent about $118 on, and that was about $85 total. As you can see, most everything, because it's like new, is still in their original box. And so that's why they can call it like new, which means it's probably been opened but never used. So I'm going to definitely inspect these myself to make sure that what I'm sending to the warehouse is legitimately new or like new. This is a cartel crystal place, some sort of a, not sure, looks sort of like a serving tray of some sort, that's what it looks like. So we will see, I'll have to look it up. Um, no UPC, but I bet I can look it up by its name. All right, this is a bling.com. I'm not sure if I want to open that box or not, but there's no barcode, so I'll um, look at opening that in a minute. This one's also, this one is stainless steel support jack so it's a lab jack of some sort so something some sort of a jack it's very very heavy so probably a metal jack oh look here's a cute little clock so you can tell that the box is a little bit boogered up but other than that it's basically brand new so now i'll just take a little tape and making sure that it still works no scratches on it same thing there's another one and another one. I love multiples because I only have to make one listing. And another one. Yay. This makes me so happy. And another one. And another one. And these boxes are in much better condition than the first one I even pulled out. And another one. And they're all the exact same color. Sharp twin bell alarm clock. Old school alarm clock. Those are really cute. All right, I have instrumentation valves. So this looks like uh, needle valves, like to probably to like pump up a basketball or a football. That's what I'm guessing, but I can tell you later after I look it up. This is a brown box. How interesting. It's taped shut. So um, it says clock number, so it might be a clock. But I'll have to, 120 volts, 60 hertz. So I'll have to look, I'll have to actually open this and figure out what it is. So I'll show you that in another video. This one is big and metal. So I will have to actually open this one up to see what it is too. George Foreman Evolve Waffle Plates. So it's just the waffle plates, probably something that you put right on top of your to stove top. George Foreman Waffle Plates. We'll open that to make sure it's in good condition. Lee do. I'm not sure what that is. Sounds like it's not new, but I can check and make sure all the packaging. It might just be loose the way the person put it back in the box. All right, here's another bling.com. So we'll have to see what's in there. Probably some sort of jewelry. Um, honey yellow WR plate. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Cirrus Carlisle. That's all I know. I don't. Oh, there's 48 of whatever this is. Some sort of a plate. 
So it might be like a wall plate um, for your house or something like that. Okay, this one is a weighing bottle. So it might be some sort of a health food weighing bottle for something, but it doesn't have a quantity. Quantity six, it says there's supposed to be six of them in here. So I'm not sure if they, I think they counted the 22 items. So each box is, I think, considered one item, which is a bonus if I can sell them in, as individuals. I might only be able to sell these as a case. These are totally covered up with a sticker. So I'm not sure what's in here, but I'll open it up and show you. Um, this is a, it doesn't say, silage, shillage, Ingersoll ran security technologies. Well, security technologies sounds like money. Oh my goodness, this one is really heavy. This is a Simons, it's got a UPC code on it. Um, Simons, then it's a bunch of uh, Japanese or Chinese. So, we'll have to look that up. Looks like it's an oven part, because there's a picture of an oven. So maybe a part for, a replacement part for an oven. And then one more box of bling.com. So that's what I got. So um, the only thing I'm for sure of is the twin alarm clock. And then I'm going to open up some of these other things and do a second video for you. Look up some of the items. Find out if I sell the, you know, the 48 item box or the six item box individually or if they have to be sold as a set. So, I hope this has been interesting for you. It's not as interesting as I thought it was going to be because everything's in a brown box, but I'm hoping that the condition of these boxes means that my items are in much better condition than the last box that I opened from Bulk.com. And remember in the end, Jesus wins.